I've nuzlocked quite a few Pokemon games, but Pokemon Legends Arceus was by far the craziest one I've done so far. Between noble Pokemon, alpha Pokemon, and battles where trainers would literally use three Pokemon to fight your one, there was danger around every corner. Here's my rule set, pause if you want to read them, and let's get right into it. I started out the game normally, talk to the professor, pick my starter, do the catching tutorial, just the usual for Pokemon games. You found something that resembles a phone, it's probably your phone. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. If you get to the 7-Eleven, you got too far. <laughs> then I met Volo, who challenged me to my first battle. Oh, that's a good track, dude. Oh, man. All right, Gus the Togepi. Se Wait, 78 HP at level 5? Something's wrong. Moves, items, use them well and the world will open up to you. I'm not using items. This is a hardcore Nuzlocke challenge, thank you. My first Pokemon was a Bidoof, which you have to catch as part of the tutorial. You also get a Starly and a Shinx here, but since they're in the same area as Bidoof, I can't use them. There, that's Shinx. <gasps> I caught a few Pokemon to get my first rank before continuing the story. And this is a good time to bring up my catching rules. In normal Nuzlocke, you can only catch the first Pokemon you run into in each area. But in this game, you need to catch tons of Pokemon just to progress the story. So in this Nuzlocke, I'm going to be catching a ton of Pokemon, but I'm only going to be allowed to battle with the first Pokemon I encounter in each area. Please have a battle with me. Okay. Well, no. It only took me two battles to realize that this game is going to be a lot harder than I bargained for. Right out of the gate, Pikachu cracked me with a Thundershock and paralyzed my Bidoof. I was still able to deal a little damage to him before switching, and what ultimately saved me was a lucky crit to take him out. That is crazy. Alright, critical hit kills the Bidoof. We survive. When my Pokemon faint, they're considered dead and I have to release them, so even early game battles like this can end in absolute disaster. Do you feel confident you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Well, I mean, I <laughs> sure, we'll go with yes. We'll go with yes. If I run out of Pokemon or lose a battle at any point, I have to reset the game from the very beginning. So yeah, there's a lot riding on every match. Wait, we have to fight? Could we stop for a second? Why exactly are we fighting? Only a split second after Leafage barely did any damage, I I knew I'd made a mistake. How do I even... Is this a scripted loss? Am I supposed to lose this? I'm supposed to get messed up here, right? Bidoof got off a rollout before biting the dust, and in a final finishing move, Munchlax bouldered my poor little owl. A full wipe on the first real fight of the game. I just lost. Do you know that? That I just... That's, that's game over. Yes, I know. I don't want to, but I have to. This is a blind playthrough. I didn't know I needed to prepare my team for the tutorial battle. On my second run, I knew I needed to change something up. This time, I went to Zisu just to see if she could teach Bidoof anything to help us. And she did. Whoa, I can learn Rock Smash, dude. I'm gonna learn Rock Smash. False swipe, that could be useful. Aerial Ace? Magical Leaf? I can just pay to make my Pokemon OP? Munchlax was looking a lot more beatable the second time around. After a couple rock smashes, he was at about half HP, and I was able to clean up the rest with two Magical Leafs. And Munchlax will go down. Thank you. Oh, anxiety, my dude. With the first major boss fight down, I decided to focus on exploration for a bit. I caught a few Pokemon and eventually had a bunch of solid early game Pokemon on my team. Now they all have names. We got Cleo. We got Steve Jobs. We got Spamton. We got Pika. And finally, rounding out the team, we got London. They're all going to die now. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all as oversized as this one. They're strong and may no moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless, go trifle with that one. Oh, it just... Okay, well... <laughs> Our first alpha fight was against an alpha Cricketune. It used Aerial Ace right off the bat. I looked Cleo in the eyes, and she knew what she had to do. Rest in peace, little one. Starly came in and Aerial Aced it right back to the grave. Not gonna lie, that one felt pretty good. With the first alpha Pokemon taken down, I had to mourn the loss of our dear friend, Cleo. <laughs> Goodbye! We have four Pokemon. We actually have four Pokemon. Hey there, chicken. The Pokemon you released now just left a little something behind for you. Take it, would you? They cremated her! Oh my god! Don't you dare call her grit dust. With that absolutely brutal funeral out of the way, I got my next task. 
Subduing Cleaver, the first noble Pokemon we'll run into. And that brings up a good question, how does a hardcore Nuzlocke of this game work with noble Pokemon battles? Personally, I figured if I ever got knocked out during the game, I'd just randomly kill off a Pokemon on my team. Some people don't take knockouts into account at all, and others restart the game if they get knocked out, so I don't really think there's a right or wrong way to do it here. This mission will put you in extreme danger, do you believe you can handle it? <laughs> Not particularly. <laughs> I evolved Pika the Starly into Staravia and set out for Cleaver. On the way, I ran into a Pokemon that I knew I wouldn't have any issues beating and decided to take it on. Alpha B Barrel. I needed to get a few levels on some of my team members before the Cleaver fight, so why not, right? What's the worst that can happen? Okay, not even half. Oh, caught him unaware, too stunned to move. Icy Wind. So, yeah. Apparently, Alpha Pokemon can learn a bunch of moves they wouldn't usually know to counter the types that you'd expect to be powerful against them. A painful lesson to learn. <sighs> Rip. Okay. Steve Jobs and Spamton died, unfortunately, which is the saddest thing ever. This was the first Buneary we got. That is mine. This game is absolutely disgustingly brutal. Do you know that? Like, I don't even get like a vase, like, like a cute little, you know, container for them. A sack of dust. Oh my God, a Machop. Come on, stay in the Pokeball, stay in the Pokeball, stay in the Pokeball. Yes. Yes! After adding a Machop named Arnold to my already stacked team, I was ready to continue the story. I met Leanne, who I unfortunately didn't give a southern accent initially, and figured I should grind a few levels on my team before I fought him. Here's how that went. Okay, two stun to move. Wow, and then he does Silver Wind? So, even though we lost our Geodude, our team was shaping up to be pretty decent. Before fighting Leanne, I went back to Jubilife and got another star. And I took down Leanne's Gumi in just a couple hits without any problem. Before taking on Cleaver, I needed to pick up the Celestica Flute and my new favorite horse, Weredeer. Oh, you go so fast, though. Whoa! Moving on, I figured we'd just be fighting Cleaver next. As per usual, I was wrong. Arita jumped in with her Glaceon. This game might not be focused as much on battling as the games before it, but it really does make up for it by making each fight life or death. Oh my god, Swift does so much damage! Why? Why does it do so much damage? I don't understand! Yeah. It sucked to lose Buneary like that, but at the same time, we didn't lose anyone else, so I really couldn't complain too much. Glaceon falls. Sick. Before I could take on Cleaver, I had to make some bombs with Arita and Leanne to help quell him. And, uh, <laughs> that's like a trash bag. You go to an amusement park and there's like the good looking trash cans. Like, that's what that is. Armed with a trash can full of bombs, I started my most intense fight yet. Oh, what an intro screen, though. The Cleaver fight should be really easy, but since it's the first noble fight, especially when you're going in blind, not totally used to the controls, it can be pretty difficult. Okay, let's fight, let's fight, let's fight, 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 fight. We'll go with a bullet punch, I suppose. Whoa, that did so much damage, though. Stealth Rock? Not very effective. Why would you use that? That's so stupid. Oh, shoot. If this is a if this is a crit, we win. Okay. Just survive. Just survive. Just survive. Just survive. Just survive. Air Slash. No! Arnold, no! So, I didn't know you could actually beat Cleaver without battling him. Have I mentioned I played this game totally blind yet? Yeah. Just a piece, buddy. That should be neutral. It kills. Sick. After losing Arnold, I decided to just attack him with bombs, not really worrying about getting into any more battles. And wouldn't you know, it worked out just fine. Wait, is that it? Is that it? Is he is he good? You killed one of my Pokemon. If we could be cool now, that would be like super dope. I'm just saying. Okay, so that was the boss fight. So I actually didn't need to fight him at any point, really. I that was a completely wasted Pokemon. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. Holy sh**, man, that was crazy. We have got three Pokemon left. Pika, the Storavia, Kur- Oh! Bat, the Zubat, and London, the Beautifly. I really hope tomorrow goes a little bit better. After saving the village from certain destruction, Kamado reminded me that I'm still suspicious and nobody trusts me. Thanks. We met a Rezu, a Diamond Clan Warden, and then got assigned to investigate the Crimson Mirelands. On my way out of the village, my rival Akari challenged me to a battle. 
I've got a mission. I'm gonna say the same thing over and over again until you fight me. Your input here does not matter. I'm giving you the illusion of choice, but you cannot stop. I'm as boned as one can physically be at this point. I might just lose here. We took down Mime Jr. pretty fast, but then I had to face Pikachu. Who, for some reason, decided to use Quick Attack and Thunder Wave instead of Thunder Shock. Thanks, I guess? Beautiful, I dropped a strong Poison Sting for half HP and a Poison, luckily, before getting destroyed by a Thunder Shock. Then Zubat came in for a bite to take Pikachu out. You know, it being called Pastures just makes this even worse because it's like you're putting them out to pasture. Oscar here from the Crematorium. <laughs> like, come on, man. We were so close to losing. I knew I needed to add to our team before our next fight. So I caught a few Pokemon on my way to Ursaluna, the guardian Pokemon of the Mirelands. What I didn't expect was an intense three-on-one fight against some aggressive Stunky while setting up the second base camp in the area. Okay, I gotta catch one of them, I think. I think this is my official encounter for the bog. What level are they gonna be? 20? Oh, that's not bad. Oh my god, you get attacked three times. Oh no. On turn one peak, it just barely survived. And then I I just had to switch, right? I was really hoping to get out of this fight without any deaths, but unfortunately, I did have to trade in my Zubat for a new Stunky, which, I mean, isn't that bad of a trade, but at the same time, I wish that we wouldn't have lost another team member. Oh man, every fight in this game, dude, every fight is just a absolute sweat fest. On our way to meeting another Warden, I ran into Volo, who challenged me to a battle. It was easy enough to take out his Togepi, but Gibble was a little too powerful for Budu to handle. No! I took him out with an aerial ace and continued on. Oh yeah, one hit kill, thank you. Afterwards, I learned that part of the ancient ruins was stolen by some bandits and went to hunt them down. I ended up having to fight one of them, and their Toxicroak was pretty intimidating. Oh my god, dude. But we ultimately did make it out with any casualties. Your days are also numbered, Galaxy Fool. I know this. I have three Pokemon that are alive right now, okay? I am well aware. Oh my god, dude. Ah! Anything over here for me to catch? You could just come a little bit closer to the shoreline. I could catch you. I don't know what you are. That's a Whiskash. Come this way. Oh my god. Oi! Look, berries. Dumbass. Okay, 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 Whiskash. Oh my god! Oh, we should not be here! Go, 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 go! Whoa, buddy! Ursaluna is enraged, yes, but he still must recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never shows to, fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. It's not gonna force me into a boss fight, is it? My heart sank. This is where the run ends, huh? I threw my heaviest attack at him, a strong air slash, and it barely did a fourth of his HP. He hits really hard, so I had to switch Pika out. I figured I'd try to cheese him with some poison, and I did get a poison him with a poison gas. Now, right after that, Stunky got crushed, Rhyhorn switched in and then got wrecked, and I was left with one final shot. Throw down an aerial ace and see if it's enough to grab the dub. It wasn't, but I was fast enough to get a second attack after that, so I won anyways. Now, go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Your Pokemon died and you almost lost the run. Our timeline was almost ended by force. That was so close to us just losing outright. This is bad, dude. This is really bad. We have got one Pokemon. It's a cracked Pokemon, but we got one. Can we even make this rebuild? For the next 10 minutes, I used the clunky Ursaluna to track down a Rezu. She was chilling out next to a trash can full of bombs, which was pretty convenient. I caught a Roselia as my final encounter before Lilligant and went to take her on. Lady of the Ridge Lilligant. Honestly, the Lilligant fight was pretty easy. The timing wasn't difficult to get used to, and even though it picked up towards the end, I didn't have any trouble. Jeez, buddy. We're almost there, we're almost there. Let's go! Did we get it without any any actual Pokemon risk? Oh, dude. Okay, so you don't need to actually fight the nobles. You can go and just treat it like a normal boss battle. Kamado proceeded to tell me that I was still sus, which is a bummer, but then I got assigned to the Cobalt Coastlands. Yeah, I have, I have bad intentions, dude, for sure. For the next hour or so, I caught a few more members of the team and filled out my Pokedex quite a bit. I caught a Shinx, visited the greatest Pokemon of all time that I unfortunately could not catch. Oh! Oh! Look at the big boy! He's just sitting there! Wow, he a glitchy boy, I guess. Shh! 
Look at that face. Caught a weasel and at some point found a combi that I can't find any footage of, but it's a male combi, so you know it's useless anyways. Pika, useless, Luxrad, and H2O. Sick. Ooh, Ursa's ring. Wait, that's gotta be the Ursa ring area. I also caught a Yamma, which was pretty sick. Let's go! Then I became a third rank explorer and celebrated by evolving my Shinx into a Luxio. I still can't get over how cool the evolution animation is in this game. Next up, the Cobalt Coastlands. I got jumped by Arita immediately, so that was totally cool and fine and expected, and I handled it super well if I'm being honest. No, I don't want to fight you right now. Oh my god, I'm not game. I'm not game. You blindside me with these. Oh my god, and it's a Glaceon. That's gonna sweep our team. I've got nothing against that. And just like that, I knew I was facing major casualties. If I could just pull out this win, I'd be able to fill my team back up with new encounters from the new area but it wasn't looking good. No, we're dead. Wow, dope, sick. This is great. I love this game, dude. I love this game. It's so fun. There's nothing I can do with this. It probably is a game over, but we'll see. I sent out Combi to do a little damage and it was quickly put to rest. Finally, Kronk the Yamma threw out a killer silver wind and took her down. Eevee almost got revenge, but we lucked out and got the final hit. Okay, we didn't lose. Might be able to catch more. Yeah, we do have a lot of Pokeballs. Is that a Glameo? That's our first encounter for this route. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay in the Pokeball, please. I'm begging you. Thank you so much. Name it Mimi. Mimi. I also managed to find a Sfeel, which if you've seen any of my other Nuzlocks, you know Walrein is a keeper. Between Glammeow and Sfeel, there was a lot of potential for a new leader to our little group. I'll admit, I was cautiously optimistic. The rebuild after losing Pika was going pretty well. Oh my god, they're so cute. What a cute little dude. He's so cute. Grawawa. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. I'm gonna jump off this and die. Apom Hill. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. True to its name, I managed to also pick up an Apom on Apom Hill. Yes. All right. Level 32 as well. That's crazy. Wow, we've got a full team. After almost completely wiping our team in the second area, we've got a full team now. I met Iskin, who told me how to make Basku Legion's favorite food, and I caught a Driftbloom and Dustclops to add to the team. After evolving my Apom into an Ambipom, I made his favorite food, fed it to him, and this happened. Now he knows I'm a good person and that I can ride around on him in the water. I love this salmon, dude. You know what's really funny is that today I'm going to have salmon for dinner. I'm about to commit a murder. Oh, a Gengar. Whoa. He stole the Growlithe. So they're going to the volcano then. Please, chicken. I beg you, help us. The Growlithe is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. I will murder them. I will pound them into dirt. They will be paced by the time. I will make them into glue, all right? And then I'll eat the glue because that's just the kind of person I am. After adding a Shellos to my team, I made it to Fire Spit Island. My first encounter was a Magmar, which is pretty awesome. Oh, we got him. Whoa, dude. Before taking on the next Noble, I powered up my Shellos using Cremation Dust, which is pretty metal for the Pokemon universe. In my infinite wisdom, I decided to take on an Alpha Machoke for some reason and lost my Drift Blim. Great decision making on my part, really. Dude, all of them just kill everything so easily. It's so crazy. I evolved Spiel into Celio, Shellos into Gastrodon, and Buizel into Floatzel. There was no stopping this cracked team. Onto the volcano we went. The three outcasts were pretty tough. I lost Celio almost immediately against Obama Snow, who I then melted with a fire punch, and against Charm I lost my Floatzel to a tanky Rhydon. But when all looked lost, Ambipom came in and swept to finish off the last of them. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, Napalm. That's what I'm talking about. What a gauntlet. Actually, just a straight up gauntlet. Oh, he's evolving. Oh, dude. He's being Arcanine is sick. Oh, no. Boss fight time. Polina, stay back. Aru, Aru, Gra. Yeah, chicken here, professional voice actor. Well, everything was just going as we wanted before that awful mutt ruined everything. I literally crushed you three. What must we do to quell his frenzy? Please tell us what we need. Do you have, do you have like a favorite food? Does he like like tuna or something? All right, gym battle number three. <laughs> Oh, jeez, dude. The Arcanine fight was really hard for me because I just couldn't figure out why I kept getting hit by moves when I clearly should have rolled through them. It was so difficult that I actually got knocked out at my first try. Why did I get knocked out? Oh, man. I don't understand. Everything went black. I have to kill a Pokemon now. The second try went a lot better, and I figured out you aren't even really supposed to dodge roll through any of his attacks at all. All right. Okay, we got there eventually, right? <sighs> 
Dude, I swear, if we lose our Gastrodon because I freaking just made a stupid mistake like that, I'm gonna be so sad. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna do one through seven, and whoever gets picked is dead. Just don't be one. So now we've got six Pokemon left over. One of them is a cracked out Gastrodon. My next assignment was to quell the Noble Electrode. Considering how destructive it can be in the main series, I was a little bit concerned about this one. Now, what I wasn't prepared for was a forced battle against Adamin before I could get started on this. Oh, and it's gonna be fast. It's gonna get a hit. Oh my god, it's gonna sweep my team. I wasn't even a little prepared for the Adamant fight, and it showed. Leafeon was a beast to deal with. On the first turn, Kronk the Yamma bit the dust. I switched into Dustclops, and he got destroyed too. I thought to myself, Oh, you should switch out the fastest Pokemon to see if you can set up on Leafeon and take it out in one hit. So in came Ambipom, and we lost our third teammate just a few seconds later. I decided I was just gonna go for a crit, really just going for broke, and... Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> the Legend of Mimi the Glammeow had just begun, and I needed to go catch some more Pokemon to continue the story. After releasing my fallen team members, I was off to grind. I caught a Chansey and evolved my Luxio into a Luxray. Whoa! Oh my god, legit Team Galactic stuff? Dude, that's so sick. Whoa, dude, that's so sick! Like, I'm styling, man. About halfway through my catching session, I evolved my Chansey and Glammeow, which was really cool. I was also pretty excited when I found some Gyarados off this coast. I was living life, enjoying the game, and I let my guard down for a split second. And life gut-punched me for it. Why won't you stay in the Pokeball? Jeez, buddy! Oh my god, I'm gonna get crit and die. I'm gonna get crit and die. Okay, I didn't- I didn't die. Oh my god, I did! Are you kidding me? And if that wasn't bad enough, then Luxray also bit the dust with a critical hit Aqua Tail. I thought I had two actions in a row, but I, I guess not for some reason. I'm so mad. With Basco Legion, some new areas got opened up to me on the other maps, and I went back for some encounters. I picked up a Chimchar, which was an insane pickup, as well as a Gumi. Oh my god, we got a Goomy, boys. Not too long after, I evolved my Chimchar into Monferno. I also found a lucky Distortion Field in a brand new area and caught a Porygon as my first encounter. Things were shaping up pretty nicely. My last new addition to the team was a Carnivine, and then I ranked up and set out to the Coronet Highlands. Immediately, I ran into a Parasect and added it to the crew. I followed Ingo through a dark cave and- Holy sh- We were in a new area, Coronet Highlands. We could catch this Golbat. Critical catch. Come on, give me the goal bat. Sick. All right, we got a goal bat. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. You know, I was expecting a lot more out of Melly after all the trash he talked, but I'll take an easy win anytime I can get one. Big old nothing sandwich. After that nothing sandwich, I caught a Bronzor and an Ursaring. Oh wow, we got him. Then I had to fight Ingo to continue. I really didn't know what to expect with him, and it cost me dearly. Um, worst case, we can switch in Carnivine, I suppose. But I actually think Machoke is actually a pretty favorable matchup for us, considering Mimi's, uh... Wait, Mimi, no, what? Why? What? What? No, 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 I started off throwing Carnivine in against Machoke and got a Stun Spore. Then I switched in Gastrodon and went for a couple Earth Powers to finish him off. Then... Pain. Oh no, don't attack, please. No! 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 Carnivine got in a little hit before also biting the dust. Then Mimi came out and threw down. First taking out Tangela in one hit and then doing a decent chunk of damage to Gliscor. I switched in Porygon and went for a strong try attack, just hoping it'd get me a little closer to winning and... Oh, we got the kill! Whoa! Okay, we do live. Man, we lost Carnivine and Gastrodon. Gastrodon, so... God, that's so bad to lose. I put all my resources into that Pokemon. Oh, that's wild. After the Ingo fight, I was left with one last goal for the area. Calm down a literal pokey bomb that had been struck by lightning. On the way, I caught a Gibble, a Gligar, and a Rotom. Yes, all right, we got him. Melly met me just before the Noble fight, and then instead of fighting me fairly, he took the chance to fight me three on one. Just the kind of move I'd expect out of him. I lost Ursaring pretty fast, but Mimi came in clutch. Guntank's dead. 
Easy. Nimi gets another kill. Zubat goes down. Stab slash. And that goes for the kill. Scruppy goes down. Critical hit, but it was unnecessary. We knew what was we, we knew what was going down there. We knew what was happening. Then I took on Electrode. Voltorb. Oh my god. That's a big ball, my dude. What followed was a delicate 10 minute long boss fight where I ended up winning with literally one hit remaining before I got knocked out and would have to kill off a Pokemon. It was about as sweaty as a boss fight could possibly get. Got him. We freaking did it. That was hard, dude. Wow, they did not intend you to be playing this the way that I'm playing it. The next day, Commander Kamado said we had one final noble to quell, Avaluk of the Alabaster Icelands. Unfortunately, I needed to grind out another star before I could go there, so it was time to go catch some Pokemon. I added an Electabuzz, Wormadem, Nosepass, and Curlia to my team, as well as evolving my Monferno into an Infernape, Kibble into Gabite, and Bronzor into Bronze Dong. And that concluded day two of the Endless Stream. I went to bed exhausted, knowing day three could be either the dawn of the final day, or if I failed, it could just be the start of a brand new run. Day three, the end or the beginning. Let's do this. I had 13 team members alive at this point, the most of the entire run so far. It seemed like I was finally starting to get some real momentum. Some of my endgame Pokemon were getting maxed out on EVs or pretty close to it. Things were just going really well in general. But I wasn't even an hour into day three before we ran into a pretty major roadblock. Oh, I do not want to fight you. Oh, I do not want to fight you. You got to ride on, uh... Wait, what Pokemon is that? Chat, what Pokemon is that? Hold on. What level is this Pokemon? 37. Oh, we're good. I guess rest in peace, Bronze Dong. As per usual, after losing an inferior Pokemon on the team, Mimi came in to sweep. And that's exactly what she did. Yeah. All right, Mimi. Gonna give me a heart attack. Okay, battles. Thank you. Oh, my hands just started sweating. Absolutely terrifying. After putting Bronze Dong to rest, I evolved my Golbat into a Crobat, Electrike into an Electivire, and Porygon into Porygon 2. And by then, I had enough points to get star level 5. I thought I was about to head to the Alabaster Icelands to take down Avalog, but it turns out Akari wanted to kill off some of my Pokemon. It's gonna be A-OK. -okay. I'm gonna throw up, dude. I'm gonna throw up. Fortunately, we had an answer for just about everything she threw at us. Then, it was time to head to another brand new area. Ice. Mountains, low polygon trees. Wow, this place is breathtaking. No, it's seriously cool though, actually. I wonder where our first Pokemon encounter is gonna be. I forgot, now we can catch Pokemon again. We can add to the team. I caught a snow run, Peliswine, and Bergmite on my way to our first meeting point. I wasn't totally prepared to take on the warden there, so I booked it to the two spots I knew I could train at, Alpha Chansey and Alpha Blissey. Chansey was pretty easy, so I figured Blissey would be too. Just more XP at a time, right? What could possibly go wrong? Ah, yeah, so uh, back to Chansey I went. After about an hour of training, I evolved my Snow Run into a Glalie and Curly into Gardevoir, then decided it was about time to challenge the feudal fit bro to a battle. The fight went really well, and then I was off to get Braviary so I could get the ice that Avalug eats. Eternal Ice is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need Braviary. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabi. Seems like you better focus on Warden Sabi. Also, squats. Make sure, make focus on the heels and the tips of your toes. Perfect form. You want Braviary's help so you can quell Avalog's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. You can catch me first. At Snowpoint Temple, there was a set of really easy puzzles that I'm not gonna bore you with, and then a fight with Sabi that I am gonna bore you with. Now get ready, because here come Rhyperior, Magmortar, and Electivire. All three of them go. Oh, shh. Please don't attack first, please. <sighs> I was able to get an Ice Punch off to get Rhyperior to half HP, but that was all I could do before Electivire got absolutely wrecked. Oh, Ben. Buddy. Oh, no. My new Glalie was also able to get a hit in, ultimately taking Rhyperior down before getting burnt to a crisp herself. Mimi's gotta be the answer here. We're going for a Slash. Dude, these Nuzlocks are brutal, man. They're absolutely brutal. Then Mimi came in and cleaned up Magmortar and Electivire. Electivire, you're dead, bud. Okay, we lived, we didn't lose. We didn't lose. Hey, that's that's good, we didn't lose. <sighs> all right, so now that's all over and done with, I can go fill my team back up and- All right, Brave Yari, why not test out chicken strength for yourself? Uh-oh. We move. Night Slash, go for the crit, and it gets a one to go critical, and thank you! 
Beautiful. Mimi has come through yet again. The eternal ice. Let's go. We've been trying to reach you oh, your phone's beeping. Hasn't done that in a while. You obtained a piece of eternal ice. Cool. And there you have it, a trash can. I played Dark Souls for a couple hours once. I can I can beat big bosses like this. Holy. All right. Chat? Chat? Chat! The Avalog fight is probably my favorite noble fight in the game. It's a massive beast of a Pokemon. You have to dodge everything in a pretty specific way that's obvious, but also takes like a cycle or two to get used to. And it really picks up at the end. Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! This felt like a finale to the noble fights of the game, and I really just enjoyed it a lot. Yes! We got it. We freaking did it, buddy. Surely this is not the final battle, but it might be the final noble. It's the end of the game. We beat the last boss. It's the end, guys. It's the end. Surely it's the end, right? Oh, wait. It does appear there may be something going wrong. <laughs> I heard a bakoom in the distance. Surely this is the end of the game. The credits are now rolling, correct? Everybody's going to be fine. Oh, yep, nope, that's normal. Yep, uh, that's totally normal. The first strike of the strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night that Chicken fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems to be natural to think the two events may be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Chicken? I don't know, man. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. You know what, asshole? I don't actually like your handlebar mustache. Your facial hair is stupid. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. Also, my mustache is cool, man. <laughs> Look at her face! Why are you happy? She's like... You're to be expelled from the village? What? Why? Can it really be true? How can his style be that good? That drip is impeccable. I guess we should have expected this from a stranger from the sky. You wanna- you wanna say that to my face? I guess we should have expected you this wanna say from that a stranger to, okay, from the sky. Okay, you didn't say it to my face. Well, okay, have a nice day. Understandable. So, I got evicted. That honestly could have been the clickbait for this video, but it, it isn't. So first, I had to go find Leon, who sent me to Mai, who just said she wasn't getting involved, but like, good luck, I guess. I refused to pet the Shinx, which is honestly the worst decision my character has made so far. Pet him. Pet his head. Pet his head. What is wrong with you? And then Volo took me to his encampment where I met Kojita. Kojita stressed that I needed to create a red chain by going to each of the Great Lakes of Hisui and passing the trials. But first, I had to make a choice. Long story short, we want to help but without drawing attention, so it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. The answer should be obvious. Diamond or pearl is really what it comes down to, right? Obviously, you'll choose me, right? Who gave you the Celestica flute in the first place? That's right, this strapping young man. Yep. I went to the first trial at Lake Verity, and I was tasked with taking on an Alpha Gudra. All right, I guess we're, uh, we're, we're doing this then, huh? There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. Oh, I got some words. Uh, holy sh As you might expect, I took on the challenge without a second th No! 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 <laughs> it was, uh, time to train my underleveled team for the next fight, and for the next hour, I became the number one Chansey Slayer in the region. Hello, this is a safety alert from your friends at Chansey News Network. A rogue trainer is on the loose, expected to be accompanied by several of the most dangerous threats we have. The original incident that initiated the onslaught is thought to be an unfortunate misunderstanding between an Alpha Blissey and a Nose Pass. The death toll has risen to at least 50 Chansey with more expected over the coming days. We'll keep you updated as more details emerge for- Who's that coming on the set? Oh no. Oh my god. Save yourself. Get out while you still can't. Okay, is the team ready, you think? Probably, right? Can I get the jump on this guy? Can I do that? Is that a thing that I can do? Do you see me? Do you not see me? Okay, no, well, I guess I guess we're not getting the jump on Gudra. That's fine. Gudra was really tough and took out my Infernape with a single Hydro Pump. I was still able to take him out with Mimi, though, and then I was off to the second trial, Zoroark. Oh, it's Hisui and Zoroark. Whoa. Please don't hit first. Please don't hit first. Please don't hit first. Okay, you don't. Whew. Oh my god, dude. Uh, okay. Mimi does it again. Actually cracked. 
Ho! A cave appears when there was none, as if just for chicken. What'd you call me? Oh my god, it's a landmine. They said you to bomb. And took it very literally. Let's start with Mimi and just see what its typing is. Oh god, I'm terrified, dude. Fishy me! Fishy me! It's it's Mario! <laughs> Fishy me! I traded slashes and double edges with Overquill, and eventually it fell to Mimi just like everything else. Woo! Critical hit, and it didn't even matter. Overquill goes down. Can I get that Pokemon now? Can we get one of those? <gasps> The red chain. Oh, this is the same chain that Cyrus uses. Okay, I got you. Then Volo told us that the commander descended on Mount Coronet without us, which was a terrible idea. So I decided to go after him. But first, I needed to finish up my team. You are officially reinstated at your former Rick. Hell yeah. Silene's the best. What a character arc. I realized I was only a few hundred points away from getting a dubious disc to get Porygon Z, so I went and grinded those out real quick, got the dubious disc, and then evolved Porygon 2 into Porygon Z. And that alone really added a lot of power to our team, and I felt prepared to take on the endgame fights that lie ahead. What I didn't know, however, was that the coming fights would be the most intense yet by far. Great, who are you? Oh my god. Oh no. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it make my blood boil. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these years. Did anyone see this coming? Anyone. At all. Anyways, we were in for a battle against Benny. Miss Magius went down easy with a quick night slash, and then Sneasler came out and... Quick attack. Didn't do jack. That's cool. Oh my god, close combat. No! I switched in Hobat to take out Sneasler in one hit, and it did, but then Gardevoir outsped me and cracked Hobat with a Psychic for the kill. I switched in Rotom and went for a Shadow Ball, which did the job, but then Gallade came in and killed my poor little toaster. I'm gonna be honest, I was pretty mad at this point, so I kinda just eviscerated Gallade with a single Shadow Claw and put that Raisin six feet under. What kind of Pokemon tanks a close combat? That's not a thing. That's not a thing you just do. You, you're supposed to get hit by the close combat and you die. After the Benny fight, I laid down my old friends to rest and added Gardevoir and Wormadam to the team. Talk sense into Commander Kamado at Mount Coronet's peak. What if now, now call me crazy. What if instead I just zoom on down and we just go all the way back here? All right, I think, I think we're going to train some. So I grinded a few levels and realized I should probably go exhaust all the encounters I could get. I caught a Scyther, a Riolu, a Zorua, and a Rufflet, and then I went on the journey to get a Black Ogreite to evolve Scyther into Cleaver. You can get this rare item from cracking the ores you find around Obsidian Fieldlands or from knocking out Gravelers. I knew it was a rare drop, but it couldn't be that rare, right? Like, come on. About an hour into the grind, this happened. So, I finally had my cleaver. Dude, we freaking got him. Bug rock type. How sick is that? Wait, did it Close combat? This Pokemon knows close combat. I also managed to evolve Zorua into Zoroark, which was super cool. Like, how cool is that Pokemon? By this time, I knew I had to go all the way training my team, especially after adding cleaver to the lineup. No, no, please, stop! A half an hour training session later, I was ready to fight whatever Kamado had to offer. I thought I was prepared for anything and everything. I, I, I couldn't have known what was coming next. I was so naive. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as, it meant, as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Yeah. Face me with your Pokemon, chicken. Today we battle in earnest. Oh god, he has four Pokemon too. Oh god. First, it was Mimi against Braviary, and I think you all know exactly how that went. But then, this happened. Snorlax, you're gonna pit me against my boy?! How could you do this?! I can't believe you're gonna pit me against my boy. Have you no shame?! That's my boy! He's my boy, dude! He's my boy. <laughs> my favorite Pokemon. One of the best of them all. You're gonna make me close combat this dude. Close combat, let's see what we got. Does not quite kill. Defensive stats lowered, but it's a, 
Hi. Oh, shit, we're dead. Oh my god, we didn't die. Whoa. We just need to hope that we outspeed with uh with whatever comes in next. Snorlax, dude. He's my boy. Oh, I'm so sorry. Golem. Oh, you're definitely not faster. Are you kidding me? I can't believe we lost Cleaver. We did so much grinding for him. He helped us out a lot, for sure. Then, I got revenge on Golem with my Garchomp, and Kamado's last Pokemon was a Clefable. I needed to switch out, so I went for Porygon Z first and went for a Tri-Attack, and it did a decent amount of damage, but definitely not enough. So then I followed it up with an Esper Wing from Braviary, which got a lucky crit, and I was able to take him down. Oh, critical hit, let's go! All right, dude. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Okay, so he's actually not a bad guy, which is crazy. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. I'm the king now, bitch. Let me mourn my Pokemon real quick. I can't believe Cleaver is dead. So, with that said, we have got a level 50 Goomba we can probably take with us to maybe tank a hit, maybe not, doubt it. It's time to use the red chain, let's see what I can do. Hold on a sec. My head, something's talking inside my head. We've been trying to reach you about your car. It's telling me, you hold the red chain. Try to come catch me then, human. Oh, hey, what's good? Oh god, I got goosebumps, dude. Dialga, sick. Dude, I love this Pokemon so much. So many good memories. Wait, why did it break? Why did it break? Whoa. Oh, do we have to fight fight? Oh no. I didn't know how many more fights were coming after this, but I was certain this was going to be my toughest one yet. After dropping a play rough from Mimi, I switched in Mamoswine to hopefully do some super effective damage to Dialga. Fortunately, I got a high horsepower off to get him into the red. Then, the dominoes started to fall. First, Mamoswine fell, having served his one purpose. I switched in Sligu and went for the catch. Nope, she was gone too. Braviary got obliterated before I could even do anything. Porygon Z came out and did as much as we could have ever asked. One Ultra Ball failed. The second also failed. Roar of Time, but Porygon survives with 10 HP. Third Ultra Ball failed again. He dodges another Roar of Time and I get another chance. Stay in the ball! Stay in the ball! Please! No! 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 Porygon! It's not even fun anymore! I I guess I guess Porygon Pori went. <laughs> That's funny. That's that's funny. I, I'm funny. I'm I'm funny. I might be a little funny looking, but I'm funny. I'm funny. I only had a couple more chances left. Mimi comes out facing nearly insurmountable odds. My first Ultra Ball failed. My second Ultra Ball also failed. All she needed to do was survive. Okay, Mimi didn't die. We have a chance. I'm gonna need your energy for this one, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna need your energy for this one. Please, 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 please. I'm not even gonna open my eyes. I'm not even gonna do it. I'm not even gonna do it. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Not like this. You're gonna make me back to back this? No, no, not like this. This is this 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 is a bit much for me. You gotta give me a sec. I'm reeling from my losses here. No, run, run, kid, run, run, me, go, 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 go. All of you, we must vacate this. God, forget all the fancy talk. Book it. Come on, we gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We got gone. We can train ourselves up a little bit. I love how I'm leisurely walking to the scene, like nothing crazy just happened. So after escaping the scene, we discussed how Kamado is an idiot for not believing me, and that Leanne might have some answers for us. In speaking to Leanne, I realized something very important. He should have a cowboy accent, huh? Uh, let's settle this out, out for once. We make for Primeval Grotto. 
Grotto. Wait, okay, so all these guys died. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so now we've got the B team and Mimi and Cynthia. <laughs> oh, this is what they were talking about. Okay. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leanne? They don't have anything like that back in Texas. I wish I would have done that from the beginning. He would be so much better with that voice. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. All right, let's do it. It's fight time. It's fight time. What is, what Pokemon is this? What is this Pokemon? Chat, what is... Chat, what is this Pokemon right here? What is this? So, I battled Charm one last time. Right on, and then Gengar went down really quickly. Then, I was off to the base camp to discuss the newly mined Origin Ore with the Professor. I'm so blank. There's... there's nothing going on in that brain. There's just nothing there, is there? An ore of mysterious power spoken of in ancient myths and said to contain the power of almighty Sinnoh itself. Coming to a theater near you. We had a short conversation about the ore and then went back to Jubilee Village where Akari helped him create the Origin Ball. The only Pokeball apparently powerful enough to contain full power Palkia. I think we might be heading into the final battle. I think this might be it. We've done it, chicken. It's complete. I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Oh, wait, is it... Do I not have to fight him? Do I not actually have to fight him? Stay safe out there, kid, he says. Stay safe out there. Hey, man. Hey, you probably should stay safe out there. Just, so you know, just hey, don't let any B-doofs get you. Haha, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me do spite. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do it. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. This is a final battle. This is a final battle. Let's do it. Hold on a moment. Oh, my God. It's Dragon Ball Z. We're Dragon Ball Z up in this. Okay. What? What are you? Why? Where's your arms, bro? Where is your arms, though? Oh my god, I hate it, too. Oh my god, he said nothing personal, kid. It took me longer than I would have liked to to figure out how to beat Palkia. The fight was chaotic, and I did end up getting knocked out once. I'm dead. I'm dead. Damn it. I got knocked out. But I persevered and eventually finished him on my second try. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're gonna get knocked out. Oh, we got him. 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 <sighs> throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. Catch, 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 Did we get him? We got him though. Whoa. Oh, did I win? Did I win? One of our Pokemon dies, but it doesn't matter anymore. Let us celebrate. Today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. Let's comma go. We did it. We did it, boys. We did it. We did it. Roll credits. We beat it. A hardcore Nuzlocke. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, we did it blind. I had no clue what I was doing, where I was going. Thank you for adventuring with us. This is the cutest thing ever, dude. This is their festival. My God, what a what an incredible game! They did such a great job with this game. Seriously, props to the Pokemon Company. They did they did the Game Freak did it right. Thank you so much for joining me in this insane insane journey. I had an absolute blast all the way through it was so much fun and hanging out with you guys really made it better so thank you for that thank you for sharing it with me and i will see you very soon for the next one i'm gonna go offline i'm gonna click the stop streaming button so i'm gonna go have some nachos peace and then i stopped the stream and made some nachos they were good. I'm thinking about taking this hardcore Nuzlocke into the post game as well, but it kind of depends on what you think of the video, so let me know what you think down in the comments below and if you'd be interested in that. If you did enjoy this video, then chances are you probably are going to enjoy the other Nuzlocke's I've done, which the video playlist is right there. If you decide to do a Nuzlocke of this game, let me know how you did down in the comments below. Additionally, make sure to subscribe for some more content. I've got so many ideas for this channel, and the fact that so many of you are enjoying all the videos I'm putting out really means a lot, and I just, I really appreciate it 
appreciate the support. We hit 10,000 subs with like 14 videos on the channel. That is insane. So thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, peace.